All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Good morning to y'all. Good morning to y'all. Look, man, academics, back at it again, saving Drake like the Captain Glazer man he is, swoop down and save Drake. But did he really save Drake? We're going to watch this clip from The Ville talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know what find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. You don't have to leave a donation, but if you want to, thank you. Thank everybody for all the donations. I really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Cash app is on the screen and all that good stuff. Let me know where you're from. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000 million by Monday. So let me know. So we're going to get to this clip, man, and we'll be back to discuss. <laughs> all right, man. Shout out to the Ville, man, doing this thing over there. Investigative journalist and the best investigative journalist on YouTube, the Ville. So look, man, we're going to get to it. Let's go. What's going on, y'all? So it looks like academics has came to the aid in Drake in regards to the allegations of this woman and this little girl, her daughter, being accused of being Drake's baby mom. Now, this has been a rumor that's been speculating around the internet and forums for about a month now, maybe a little bit over a month at this point. And we've talked about it on this channel. I've made a video about the claims that people have made online and it's always left us with a conversation. And in the beginning, we had said, well, if it is his daughter, then that's crazy. If it's not his daughter, then I don't know what mom in their right mind would use their daughter for clout. And that's one of the conversations that we've had on this channel since this has been discussed. You see, every time that there's something that's spe speculated, we always have a discussion here. And one of the main things that we would share in regards to that is that if it is, then it, that's crazy. You know, if it is his daughter, right, allegedly, right, then that would be insane. But if it's not, then the mom will be looked at as someone who's just using their daughter for clout. Which now, I will say this. Um, this is what pisses me off about this whole Internet culture or whatever. People do this, right? So look, if the baby is not Drake's, why you just don't come out and say that the baby's not Drake's baby? Is it because you're using your daughter for clout? Is that the case? Because for some people, they're saying that that's what you're doing. So if the baby's not Drake's, then say it's not Drake's. Drake, if the baby's yours, say the baby's yours. But this is the craziest thing. Why does academics know about this? And why is he reporting on it? If the baby's not yours, Drake, why do you need academics to report it? Why can't you just report it? I know why you don't report it. Because the baby probably is yours. And you don't want to be the one that looks stupid if it comes out that the baby's yours. So you could easily say, yeah. This fall guy took it. He took it. That's the thing. That's what I'm thinking. Which is insane within itself. Because I don't know what mom would do that. I don't know what mother in their right mind would do that, right? That was always the conversation that we had discussing this topic. So now, back to academics, aiding Drake in regards to these accusations. So you see... Academics have made a post on Instagram and he was reaching out to the people and letting them know that he was able to obtain a photo. Where he got this photo, I don't know. It doesn't say where this photo is from. It doesn't say whose DM it is, but you could see that this is the woman, Miss Reza, is the mother of this little girl. And it starts off by saying, hello, hope all is well on your tour. I know you must get a million requests for this, but my baby, Eternity, 
is five and she really adores you. Eternity and I have tickets to your Los Angeles show and she really just wants to meet you. I will pay anything to make this happen for my five-year-old, please. Thank you, sent with much respect. And then academics said post right here on the caption, messages from the woman who Kendrick Lamar fans are claiming to be Drake's other baby moms leak. Apparently, the woman, as of early as 2018, was hitting up Drake to meet him, which makes it impossible he fathered her child. Now, granted, if she... Okay. First of all, we live in the age of social media act. You know better than this. For you to post something like this is crazy work because people can manipulate anything online. We've seen this happen. You can't say that this is a real message because we don't know. How would you know that this was a real message? If it was a screenshot from someone else, this could have easily been doctored. It just That's just what it is, bro. I can't take none of this right here as gospel. None of it. I can't because, number one, people can make these things up. They can literally make this up. I can make this up on my computer, bro. I can make it up. Why hasn't the woman come out and say that the baby's not uh, not the Drake's? Why she ain't say that? I'm sure she could say that. She is reaching out to Drake through messages. Then yes, that wouldn't be the baby moms, right? Because how are you going to request to meet somebody if that's your father? You get me? But what I will say is, if academics is going to come to Drake's aid, and if academics is going to say that this photo was leaked, at least actually show us who leaked this message, bro. Whose DM is this? Now, the way that it's set up, it's to be believed that these are Drake's DMs. But this is the problem that everybody says about Drake. Why are you giving this information out to academics? You see, remember in the beginning of the beef, when Kendrick talked about the alleged daughter, Drake made a story and said, I don't have a daughter, right? So why would it be so hard for Drake himself to acknowledge this and say that it's not true? You feel what I'm saying? Why doesn't he just come out and just say it himself. Why? But I think we, I think there's something else that's missing here too, that we're not paying attention to, but I'm gonna let him go ahead. His academics have to say that these photos were leaked. And how come he can't just say that he got them from Drake? And why in the picture? Okay, so in this picture, I need to see when this picture was taken because if this picture was taken after 2018 then this is fake not her but the picture on her if this if this was taken after 2018 then obviously it couldn't be that she contacted this um drake in 2018 because if this was taken after 2018, unless unless this picture doesn't go with that, because maybe maybe it's separate, maybe the picture is separate. But yeah, he he's not sending, he's not showing who it's sent to. You know what I'm saying? He's just saying that. So this could be easily manipulated. That could have been that could be easily manipulated. You know what I'm saying? Easily manipulated. Easily. Picture, doesn't it say this conversation is from? It shows that it's the mom, but it doesn't show who it is, who it is exactly who she's messaging. And this is the problem. If it is Drake that sent these screenshots to academics, I don't know why academics just doesn't say 
You know what I'm saying? That this is Drake's messages. I don't know why he has to say they were leaked. It just doesn't make any sense. Why be so subliminal about it? If Drake is sending you the screenshots, just say that he sent you the screenshots. He can't everybody say, he can't say Drake sent them the screenshots because Drake probably didn't send him that. He probably made it up or somebody else probably sent it to him. You know what I'm saying? Or or on top of that, he don't want to say that Drake sent it because this way he could say if it if it does become true that the, that daughter is his, he could say, well, these screenshots were sent to me and I don't know. It wasn't Drake. It was somebody else and they were fake. He could easily say that. So I'm going to tell you, it's some dirty, dirty, dirty people out here and they play dirty games. And this could be another dirty game by academics or whoever else is surrounding him. Just like he had the boy Epic on his joint. The dirty games that these people play, they, they dirty, dirty dirt balls. You know what I'm saying? They doodle dirt balls. And he probably playing this doodle dirt ball game right now. We basically saying, oh, this, this came from the baby mother. Well, it could be just somebody that has the, the same the made up account or whatever. I'm telling you, these people, they, they play dirty games. Like you said, everybody hears you say how you have conversations with Drake. Everybody hears that you talk to Drake. Well, why don't you just show that these are Drake's messages? Now, this is the other problem that I have with this. This little girl, her whole life has been chilling with celebrities, dog. You can see here, she's chilling with Lil Durk. She's came out in the music video with J. Cole and Lil Durk. The 2020 NBA draft had an awesome time with Melo. You know what I'm saying? And this is all gonna, this is my whole point, bro. Look how many celebrities that she's with, bro. Look how many celebrities, she's with Michael Rubin, bro. First of all, how is she able to get into these rooms? How is she able to get hooked up the way that she's been hooked up with all these uh, celebrities to take a picture with? Look at this, bro. Look at this. So this is why I say that what I said earlier, look, her with Ariana Grande, since the age of three, dog. Since the age of three, she's been, look, making beats. And then she hashtags 40, OVO 40. Um, nah, so how man. come? Nah, homeboy. I'm not rolling, bro. That's your baby, bro. That's your daughter, bro. That's your daughter. Claim the baby, Drake. Claim the baby, Drake. That's your baby, bro. I am not rolling. She did, bro. She cheat. Nah, bro. How you hashtagging 40? Nah, nah. 40 ain't that popular. 40 ain't that popular. Ain't no way in the world this little girl's hashtagging 40, bro. Uh-uh. I'm not rolling. That's your baby, nigga. When you screenshot this photo, why don't you just show us who exactly these DMs are from? Because from the pictures that I showed you last time, bro, she's been chilling with celebrities, bro. So it would be nice to know that back in 2018, who exactly was the mother asking to meet? Who exactly was the mother asking to meet at this time, bro? Who, who was she asking for? That's the problem. And if you're going to come to drink. I don't understand. How is that these celebrities is, is kissing on this little girl? Uh-uh. Miss uh -uh. Aid, bruh, you need to come a little bit more clear than just sharing a photo and then saying it's leaked. If it is Drake's DMs, bro, and Drake sent it to you personally, just say that, bruh. Just say that Drake sent it. Don't say claiming to be Drake's other baby mom leaked messages. Like, it doesn't make any sense. The messages from the woman who Kendrick Lamar fans are claiming to be Drake's other baby mom's leak? Well, I wonder who leaked them, bro. At this point, I really want to know. Nah, for real. Who? Because obviously, it's trying to paint a narrative that it's Drake that sent him the messages. Mm -hmm. But from all these photos that she takes with celebrities, bro, what celebrity did she message that she wanted her daughter to meet with? Tell you, man. Y'all gotta be real. Y'all gotta be real careful because 
that black message that could easily be manipulated and and you could easily take this and it's you know the crazy thing is these messages if this was a generated message this is online this is a stock message is online you know what i'm saying but this sounds like something ai would had wrote you know what I'm saying? This sounds like that. But let's keep it going. What celebrity did she message that she wanted her daughter to meet with? If she goes and messages random celebrities and tries to get them to respond, and tries to see if they could get them to meet, that's probably how she's able to take all these photos with these celebrities. Because her mother probably goes out her way and messages them to get a photo. So it would be nice to know who it is exactly these messages were leaked from. And I don't know why academics just doesn't show that it's Drake who leaked these I don't know why he just doesn't say that Drake gave it to him. Maybe he will in a later video. And like I said, y'all, I've always asked the question, is this Drake's alleged baby mom? Is this really Drake's daughter? I've never said exactly that this was her daughter. I just bring the information to y'all. Nah, I understand what you're saying, Bill, but that's his daughter, bro. I'm going to tell you, that's his daughter. I don't care. I, unless I see, unless I see a, a, a what they call that, a, a, um blood test, DNA test, that's his daughter. Because it's too coincidental. Too coincidental. You tagging 40? Mm -mm, nah. So, it is what it is. Yeah, unless I see a blood test or DNA test, I'm saying that's his daughter is too coincidental. I'm sorry. Graham, come on, bro. You look like the man. Your daughter look like him. And on top of that, you're going to say Graham, last name Graham, come on. And the mother hasn't said the baby's not his. And he hasn't came out and said that that baby's not mine. He just said, oh, show me why I have a daughter playing games. Cause he knows if people find out that he has a daughter, it's over for him. It's, he gonna lose a whole lot of respect from people. They gonna be like, bro, you had you hiding to me now. How many other kids you got? He gonna be looked at as a deadbeat dad. So it's kind of like he he better off just coming out and saying. And, that, and it's crazy because he can't come out and say, yeah, Kendrick was right. But if he does, <sighs> everything else look like it's true. And meet the Grams. <laughs> Either way, man, shout out to the bill, man. Yeah, make sure y'all go follow him, man. I'm going to tag him in this. All right, man, I'm out of here. 12 o'clock show coming up. See y'all, peace, bye. <laughs>